Okay, friends, I want to show you what we've got left. So we've got this stuff, which this is from my, most of this is from my, my huge bead haul from the thrift store. And actually much of this is as well. Oh, let me move this up so you can see it. This is my basket and it is full of my thrift store finds and some BB craft stuff too. If you guys remember, I started out with basically, you know, one thing with some stuff in it. I had like nothing. And I started going to the thrift store and then I started doing the BB Craft YouTube program and I've really built up my stash. Look at this. I mean, it's fantastic, right? And there's more stuff down here and there's some stuff in here. So, you know, the question is, how do we want to get all that into this? Do we want to get all that into, into this? So, and if so, how do we want to go about doing that? And remember, we have this that we can use, and you know, some of these move around, so I can make some compartments small and some compartments big. Like this little guy, I wouldn't dare take these out of here because it'll fit, remember this compartment down here? It'll fit right in there. So we can do that. Um, I think this one's too big to fit in there, yeah. So here's, here's the deal, but here's what I'm thinking. I'm th oh, look at this. This does not allow the drawer to close if it's standing up like that. So, so, let me move my drawer out of the way here. Oops. Okay, what do we got? This is going to have to lay down. Let me scooch these guys over. Let me put this over here. That fits perfectly. Okay, friends, I have made an executive decision. So I took all the industrial sort of stuff out of the top of this. And I'm going to go ahead and put some beads in there. So, for example, I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and just start dumping these beads in here. And I can use these other, these little containers for other things. Well, let's see what happens. If I change my mind, I'll regret it because it'll be a lot of work to scoop them back out. But, you know, whatever. I think it'll be fine. You know why I want pretty things up here? Is because I want to feel inspired when I look at this case. So that's what we're going for. Now, you can see that some of these are bigger than others. So like this is a pretty small amount, so I'm gonna try to dump this in a small one. And now the silver pearls are, you know, this one's a bit fuller, so I'm feeling like I probably should dump it in one of these. I'm gonna go for this one. This isn't jewelry. These are like little stones. I can make jewelry from these because I can wrap metal around them, but I'm not gonna dump these yet. I might not want these up here. Now we've got some pearls and let's take a look. We have big ones and small ones. So I think all these big ones, I think all these could probably fit. I'll put these back here. And then these are like really small. And I don't know, it might be easier for me to like grab the bag and work with them because they're so small. So I don't think I want to actually take them out of the bag. Let's just put them here for now. They're not gonna stay there, but I don't wanna make any major decisions about those. I think I put one in here. Let's try the test, the true test of closing this. And then we're gonna lift it and we're gonna make sure <laughs> that the, you know, the beads don't shift into other compartments. I don't think they will. This looks pretty good, but let's give it a test. Whew, giving me a little anxiety there. These I think I'll just leave in here. It's a perfect little case, but I'm gonna take this out just in case I want to move some of the big ones. I'm not moving those small ones out of there, but maybe some of the big ones. And then I can just, oops. Then I can, whoops, um, sorry I can't talk and do this at the same time. I had a long, long day today. Opening this back up, thanking God. <laughs> okay, so let's 
see. So I have big and little ones in here. So I'm thinking what I'd like to do is move the large ones out and into this and then make this just a container for maybe small stuff. So look at these, look at how pretty these are. Oh my goodness, I love them so much. So we'll get these out of here. I'm gonna put them right up front because I love them so much. They're so pretty, they're glass beads. They're just beautiful. I kind of have these color coded. Now I have, you can see in here, some of these are like the BB craft beads and then some of these are still the glass beads. Um, but I think I can mix them because I kind of had them color coded like I said. So I think I'll do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to organize my beads and get them out of the clear containers that I have. I am continuing to try to keep them color coordinated. In that thrift store jewelry haul that I did a while back, I found so much stuff. So I am pulling that stuff out of this organizer and putting it into, this is the top drawer of the pink organizer. Now here's some whole necklaces. I haven't gotten into these and, and taken them apart yet, so I'm putting them in the drawers as well. And here in the middle drawer, I am putting the earrings. I got a ton of earrings that I plan on using as embellishments in my tassels. Well, I don't want this video to get too monotonous, so we are going to wrap it up here, but I will show you in the third video all of the progress that we have made getting this container organized. And I have to tell you, I absolutely love it, and I'm so excited to have my goodies in one space. Thanks for watching. See you soon.